welcome to San Jahal. San Jahal is about traveling and acrylic painting. This is the day 4 of my travel from Philippines to Thailand. Day 4 is the day that I explore Bangkok. As usual, I try to guess where to go. According to Google Maps, there is this Golden Mount or what's it? I booked a Grab taxi and went there. It took around 1.5 hours to get to the Golden Mount or what's it? In the Golden Mount Temple, wearing shorts is not allowed. I bought a big scarf with graphic elephants. I really like the design. I haven't seen a Buddhist temple, that's why I'm so amazed at my first glance. The Buddhas are coated with gold and they appear sitting inside a stupa with burning flames that moving upwards to the cosmos. It is also my first time to see monks in their orange clothes. Everything here looks warm and colorful. There is a stair leading to the pagoda and there goes the enormous golden stupa. On every corner, there is a god with green skin. You cannot help but pay attention to the details. There is an area where you can write your wishes on a red tablecloth and give donations. And this I like the most, the two fire serpents painted on a gong. When I went down, I landed in another area of Golden Mount. There is this balete tree hanging with golden wishes. It looks beautiful and surreal.
Time to move on to my next ano, destination. Outside Golden Mount, there are transportation called Tuk Tuk that offers city tour. I hired one and it brought me to a temple with a mini cemetery. You will recognize that it is a cemetery because of the lapidas mounted on the wall. Buddhists cremated the bodies of the departed and stored their in an urn. I also met a local. He was praying and saw me and gave me an orientation about the daily Buddhas. Depending on the day of your birth, there is a specific Buddha guiding you. He also said that I look like Thai and took a pot of me. Sweet. Next destination is Wat Ben Chamabofit Lucy to Wanaram. This temple is made of marble. On the entrance, there are statues that appear like lions guarding the temple. It is so quiet. <laughs> There is an aisle of Buddhas and working through it feels endless and infinite.
Here is another temple named what in the Raviharn where you can make offerings of flowers and incense. There are also urns inside a glass storage. It looks so neat and organized. This temple has so many areas where people can pray and there are some areas that have a touch of Chinese arts. This is my final trip for the day, the boat to ride. While waiting for the boat to arrive, you can feed the catfish with scraps of bread. The boat is so colorful.
I was waiting for the moment that it passed under the bridge and it looks fabulous on Pizzo. On the boat, you can see what Aaron. There is also a gate that manages the traffic of the boat. The boat ride is so long and looks surreal. You can see large golden Buddha and temples along the way. In addition to that, I saw a huge bayawak or monitor resort. The boat will drop you on a floating market where you can eat and take a break for 30 minutes. I ordered scrambled egg with crab, rice, and iced cappuccino. It's really hot and I could hardly resist cold drinks. There's not much into it but ice cream, snacks, and souvenirs. I hope you like my video and thank you to my 187 subscribers and if you need motion graphic services, please visit my website sanjaal.com. Thank you!